Hello and welcome to the Apps by Wednesday live stream. We are back on Twitch. My name is James Gilmore. This is Peter Wellington. Oh, hi. Hey, and we are back to bring you our first new show, which is basically all of the new releases. As you may or may or not know, the App Store refreshes every Thursday. So if you're in the UK like us, or if in the US, then you get all your new games. They appear on a Thursday morning, or middle of the night, really. Uh, thing is, they come out in, like, New Zealand and a few other places, like, 24 hours in advance. So Those if, lucky New Zealand. I know, I know. The Antipodean types, they get it well early. Um, so what we do, being as we're sort of, you know, slightly uh, you know, in the fold, behind the scenes, behind the curtain, if you like, we get hold of all the games and we play them early and we're going to preview them for you right here and right now so you get a little 24 hours notice you can see the most exciting new games that are coming out this week see if you like them you can see what you need to buy simple as that so we're going to start with five games today uh, and we're going to run through them over the next hour or so so stick with us you'll see the titles up there i'll also adjust them so you can see what game we're playing in the window all right fantastic stuff so uh, that's what you're going to be doing yep uh, i'm going to be keeping an eye on the chat room uh so uh obviously if you are watching then come and say hello we've already had cg2005 come in and say hey peter hey james hey, hey, hey guys hello, so, hello. Good to join us thank you um and uh, yeah so ask any questions you like about the game put any feedback in uh, and uh, and yeah, uh, just kind of uh, uh, basically anything you want uh, to know about the game, let us know, and I will pass it on to uh, good man James here. Absolutely. Well, the games we're going to be running through today, we have got Dude Ski, Trials of Glork, Amber, something I forget the second name, uh, First Strike, and Surgeon Sim. Now, Surgeon Sim, you might already know from the PC, very exciting surgery game. It's it's not appeared yet. It's appeared on our iPads, but not on the App Store yet. Um, and I've played it a little bit, and I think it's I think it's the game we're all going to be walking away wanting to buy today. Um, but I'll start off a little easy. We're going to start off with Dude Ski. So what I'll do is I'll change the little logo that's up on the screen. There you go. That's Dude Ski, and I'll open the app right here. This is in portrait mode. So I'm going to spin my iPad around uh, and give you an idea what it is. So, then. Good stuff. What it is, is a little skiing sim. As you can see, my, my matey's running down the uh, screen here. This is actually the menu, which is quite neat, I think. So if I steer to the left by tapping the left side of the screen, he'll sweep over. And uh, if I go over that little marking there, that takes me to the next, the first level. And essentially, it starts with an avalanche, and it's an endless sort of skier, endless runner, where you have to shoop down the slopes little pixel art slopes here uh, go through the little slalom bits avoid the bushes if at all possible collect little I don't know what these are little leaf things I suppose they are I've missed the little gap there the difficult bit is doing like proper slalom stuff as you can see I'm messing it up um, I've only played it for about a couple of minutes damn it's quite good fun really yeah, the, okay the shoot the short of sweep left right left right swoop swoop of Oh, there you go. I'm jumping. If you push both thumbs down on the screen at the same time, then you'll do a little jump like this. Whee! And that's necessary to get over uh, some of the bushes and stuff. But it's immediately playable. Once you get the idea of what it is, it's dead simple. Um, and it looks smart enough. Ah, just cleared it. Um, and it's quite fun. It's quite hectic. So I've just made it down that little bit of slope. I've gotten 20. I've got I've, maybe I've got a helmet or something. I'm going to hit it. I don't know what I've gotten, and I, I can then shred on, which just basically means continue. So I'm going to do that. Okay. He's got a little helmet now. Look, oh, amazing <laughs> <laughs> result. Fantastic. So uh, this looks. I mean, I mean, I really like the art style on this one. Uh, yeah, this it's good. Isn't it? is, yeah, and it, it's so we're, we're getting some comments in. Uh, obviously, waving people is in the chat room. James Drury, 15 is in the chat room. Hello, hey guys. Uh, and uh, CG2005 says, uh, "Ah, it's the good old days of ski free." Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. People have actually commented on that. They've said that it sort of reminds them of that. Um, I should be aiming for the leaves here, and I'm totally failing. Um, oh, can I jump over the rock? I can. Amazing. Yeah, it's it's dead simple, and it's quite yeah. cheap. I think I think it's about, like, what was it? £1.49, £1.99? So it's not 69p, it's, but yeah, it's still yeah, yeah. affordable. Um, and it's not free skiing. <laughs> I know, I know. That would, be, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? But... Yeah. I, I, it, the controls are what sells this to me, so more than anything. Like the responsive, it's, it's oh crap! Look at this, what a zigzag! Ah, it's incredibly responsive. It feels very, very naturalistic when you're kind of oh my god, trees, trees, crisis. 
when you're swooping left and right uh, like I am, it's very swift to kind of like respond to my gestures, which is really nice. And as I zigzag left and right, even though I messed that up, um, I feel like I'm in control what, I, what what I'm doing, and it's entertaining. It's it's kind of so. Fun. Is, it, is, it. is there a, is it is it endless? Did you say? Um, yeah, it, it's they're broken up into. I think there are four slopes, so there are four different environments you can go through. But every time you play, uh, it generates a new track, so it's like procedurally generated. So every time should be a bit different. Ooh, avoid the trees. Ah. Oh. 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 Oh, I've, I've made another bit. I think I've got a pro I've got a propeller now. Which allows me to survive a trip. So if I fall over, I think this little propeller will automatically. Oh! I smashed into a tree. Well. Fail. More fail I. This yep. is not good. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'll, I'll restart. We'll go for another quick run uh, before we move on to something else. Um, okay. Don't worry if the quality dips a little bit. Peter's up in Bristol, um, and so he's streaming Indeed. through my PC. So if he sounds a little bit roboty from time to time, that's not what he normally sounds like. Normally he sounds, uh, you know. Nice and mad. I'm actually going to be in the new Transformers movie. Oh, is that uh, what, uh, that's that's what this is? is. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So it's just it's just me trialing out on you guys. I always <laughs> sound like sound wave. So... Well, you're doing a pretty good job. Right. <laughs> good. Ah, it's quite difficult to do some of this stuff and uh, and speak because you feel like you have to suddenly concentrate incredibly hard. But, yeah. Uh, I quite like it. I'm I'm sort of having a bit of fun here. Ooh. Damn! 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 Oh uh, yeah, I, I think I think the visuals look really, really awesome. Like the controls, are really like, like you're really sort of selling me on the controls. Like yeah, because I I think because it looks like quite a not a tough game, but it certainly looks challenging. And like I'm kind of I think with with touch screen gaming, you end up in a situation sometimes where like touch screen stuff just doesn't quite do it justice. Yes, that's very it's true. Like you're saying, like you're feeling control here, and you feel like you can do all of these like clever little sweeps and all that sort of thing, and Yep. You know, I think that, yeah, exactly, I think that, that's a, a very good thing indeed. Uh, I'm a little concerned, yeah. it keeps asking me to donate coins, uh, and this Ooh. is a premium game, it's asking me to donate bitcoins or something. I don't know if that's an in-game currency, yeah, I don't know if it's a, a bit an in-game currency, or if it's asking me to, I don't think they're bitcoins, or if it's asking me to give actual real money. And if it's I asking me for real money, then... I think they're pine codes, aren't they? Okay, pine cones. All right then, fine. Yeah, I think Bitcoin is made out of currency from the internet. <laughs> exactly, it's cakes. that phony internet currency. <laughs> That's right. Let me move my mic over a little bit. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go for a final go, and then we'll scooch on to the next game because uh, I think we get the idea. I think we know what we're looking at. Yeah. Um, well, you can see the little list. We've put them up on the uh, title of the App Spy stream. So, what should we go for next, Peter? What's next on the list? I think what we should probably go with is uh, should we try Amber Hall? All right, then we will. We will. It's a little roguelike thingy. Um, I had a brief look, but uh, it's we're starting off lo-fi. We're gonna get more graphically impressive as we move through the stream. Probably culminating in either First Strike or Surgeon Simulator, because um, yeah, they're the most visually impressive and frankly laughable games, particularly Surgeon Simulator. Um, yeah, I'm I'm quite enjoying this. It appears to be a bit of a one-trick pony. Obviously, I'm just I'm just doing this at the moment. I don't know if it gets more yeah. complicated later on, but it seems to be just keep you know an endless an endless skier, if you like, that uh, changes every time, but gradually sort of develops um, in terms of the environment. So now I'm in the forest, for example. So suddenly now I have to worry about dodging trees um, and keep looking for pine cones. So don't I'm not donating anything. I don't even know what that means. I'm just going to see how far I can get before well, smashing my pick, face. You're, pick, you're picking up the pine cones <sighs> as you're racing along, right? That's right, that's right, yeah. I've gone and so done a death. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> right, I think that'll do it. That's Dude Ski, so it's Static Ocean Corpse, and it's £1.49 or $1.99. That's going to be out on your app store tomorrow. So, there you go. You've been informed. Right, let's go next on the list. Sorry for all the spinning around. Um, let's do Amber, like the man says. So we will get rid of Dooski. We will bring up Amber. Wapa, there it is. And we'll bring so it up Amber on the screen. Halls. Amber Who's... Halls, indeed. Right, okay. So who are these, uh, who it's... are the developers? I think it's a single developer. It's a guy, someone uh, called Diego. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the Diego. second name. But, uh, there you go. So, here you go. What it is, is a block, a sort of grid-based roguelike. Have you played, um, uh, Dungeon Lot? 
dunge a lot yes i have have yes. you yeah well it's sort of it, it's even more lo-fi than dunge a lot but it seems to be along a, a similar line so you swipe up and down to move your character i tap on an enemy uh, in the block next to me like that and he fires a little bolt and uh, that takes care of the enemy. However, the moment the enemy kind of touches me, I lose a heart. As you can see, I've already lost two hearts. The idea oh, is to make it to the exit, which is this little glowing thing in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Um, I don't know what these blocks here are. I don't know if they're things down which I should fall or not. I think that's me dead on that level. Let me just go back because there was a tutorial that sort of explained it. Oh, I think we're randomly generated. I think we have to stick with it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I seem to have immediately died. Don't hit the blue ghost, because he takes you out. Well, ah, immediate blue death, ghosts yeah. have always done that, though. And pink ones, blue that's ones, true, that's green true. ones, they all do it. I think I can only fire once if I move. So I have to move, and then fire. Oh, move again. And this one recharges every time I move. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay, run away. Now he's after me again. I'm going to move left, right, rather, and shoot him. Oh, I can't shoot him now. I think you can only shoot him once. Okay. Oh, this is bad. He's chasing me. I'm being harassed by this blue thing. Ooh, I'm not sure there's a way out of this. I can't shoot him. I cannot fire him again. If I go down, he's going to munch me up. And I need to get to that key in the top right. Screw it. I've legged it off the screen. <laughs> Escape. Oof. Okay. Okay. This looks absolutely like super minimal. This looks like the kind of game that people Death. thought that people would plan the future in 1943 <laughs> you reckon that's what it is yeah like, it's exactly that i reckon ah you got me let's got see me. if i can i need to avoid him smashing into my face i think that's what's going to happen now yeah damn and this one can jump on me apparently each of these characters these little um hex creatures have different powers because uh mm. they seem to be kicking my ass in various different ways which is alarming now if i go up Ah, damn. Let me go down, down, down. Uh, so, apparently, you can tap the coloured blocks to cast a spell. Uh, that is, I believe, from our man Diego. Oh, really? Uh, so, uh, hello to the developer. Hello uh, there. So, yeah, if you touch the coloured blocks, then you can uh, uh, then you can cast a spell. I think that's probably a, a useful what, thing to do. I think that's what I've it? been doing. If you touch the um, uh, characters, yeah, you launch a little fireball. Ah, here are some coloured blocks. Let's touch uh... them. Oh, wow, something happened. I think I cast a little protection spell that went around the little blue guy down here. I think Ooh. that's what's happened. Okay. I'm trying to collect these little... I don't know if they're... I think they're pentagonal. They seem to be five-sided. Oh, I got munch from both sides. Nightmare. So it really does remind me of Dungelot. I don't know if you played it, but it's a tile-based roguelike. Obviously, it has more characters, and there's this RPG element to it, but it's the same idea of running into a grid-based environment and then being attacked from all sides. Uh, and having to uncover different squares on the grid, if you like. Yeah, yeah. So you need to be sort of quite methodical, quite... Uh, Very much so. Like, thoughtful about what it is that you're doing and how you're moving forward, right? Yeah, and it's all about uncovering... In Dungeon Lot, it's all about uncovering squares. In this one, it seems to be about kind of jumping from square to square and collecting these things, get to the exit. But every move you make, they make a move towards you. And so okay. you have to be careful that when you jump to the next tile, they're not going to leap into your face and knock a heart off. So Oy. this has got, like, for example, this screen here has got loads of creatures on it. The moment I move, look, they'll all, they'll all run towards me like that. They've all uh -huh. made their own individual moves. Mm. Let me tap this colored square. Oh, I've warped. I think that little star thing is a warp. I've jumped to a, another square on the field. I like how I like how sort of uh, not obtuse it is, but it, how it's not explaining absolutely everything all of the time. No, it's not explaining much of anything actually. I'm just finding this out as I go along, um, which I quite like in a lot of games, to be honest with you. It seems I like I want to cast a spell on this guy. Ah, oh, there we are. Got him, and got him. Uh, but I've just been munched from the top and the bottom. I think I can only <laughs> attack. No, he does let me attack in all directions. Hmm. Let's see. If I go down, that one's going to jump straight in my face. Let's go to the left. And Same problem again, though. If I go down, he's going to hit me like he does there. Down, down. And then I got attacked from both sides. This is tough. Tough. Yeah, I'm not sure what the correct move is. Let me go up. If I zap this guy, which I can't zap for some reason. That's the thing I'm slightly confused by. Sometimes it lets me attack. And like I'm tapping the screen now. Watch me. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, yeah. And nothing's happening. Ah, and now he does. I, I'm not sure that whether it's my fingers or the touch interface is playing up a little bit. 
but I, it doesn't always fire the fireball when I expect so do you, it to. Do you, have to, do you have to kill all of the bad guys? Can you just move straight to the next room? I, I don't think you have to kill them, but in order to get to the next room, they're going to jump in. You know, they're going to wind up jumping in your way, and you're going to have to take some of them out, or yeah. you're screwed. Luckily, oh damn! See, the other things you can push objects into the next room. For example, this little crate that I've got here. I think ideally, I'd want to push it, push it into the next room if I can. I'm going to huh. attack this guy. Oh, I've got it! I've got it on me. You stuck with it? Yeah, I've got it. There we go. Um, and uh, as uh, as uh, developers uh, saying in the chat at the moment, with some practice, you should be able to get to the final levels very consistently. So, right. so um, I think it'll be uh, obviously like there'll be some sort of balancing thing going on here. Yeah, but yeah. I, I find that really, I find that really fascinating. I really like those kind of games where you can genuinely get better at them. Like, <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I know that sounds really a really odd thing to say, but especially sometimes with mobile games, but like and casual games and that kind of thing. Like, sometimes you just kind of feel like, oh, I don't think I could have won here. But, um, but like, I do like these games where you can learn systems, mechanics mm -hmm. in the game. Sure. So, and it's certainly yeah. sort of interesting little minimal look. I quite like the idea yeah. behind it. I like Dungeon Lot an awful lot, and uh, roguelikes have this kind of nice. They're slightly nihilistic, I think. They're punishing to the, you know, the the thing that they're known for beyond anything is permadeath. This yeah. idea that you die and then you're screwed. I don't think that's the case here, but um, it, they are kind of. Can I can I get this guy? Yeah, I can get him. Uh, and the other one took me out. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's e Luckily, it has a very quick restart, which is the saving grace of so many sort of good games. Is just that very simple immediate restart, and you're back in the action. Mm makes it very moorish but look if you just start randomly swiping you'll die in in a second or two it's really brutal but that's not necessarily a bad thing mm. i don't mind that at all Absolutely. see if i can get out of this room cool. uh, oh yeah ooh. oh no see if i move up or down it's gonna it's gonna muller me i'm gonna get, go straight into straight into danger no matter where so, i go sounds like you're a bit naff <laughs> well this is the one i haven't really played yet so yes i will concede to being rubbish <laughs> It's no. I, I have no shame. Better than I would be. I don't mind. I don't mind admitting admitting my fail. Mm -hmm. Let's try and get out of this room if I can. Oh, I'm just going to get mullered, aren't I? I'm a little bit concerned though. I'm, I say I'm pressing the the iPad screen quite hard, and it seems to be only actually responding to the touch. You can probably hear me tapping on the on yeah, the uh, can, feed. Yeah. yeah, and it's only responding to the fire uh, button sometimes, not all the times. Don't know if that's a balancing issue or or a you know, control issue or what. Right, I've cleared this one. Ah! And I walked straight into his face. Yep, I suck at this. Well, <laughs> that's uh, going to be available from tomorrow. It's going to be 69p99 cents, and okay. it's called Amber Halls. So Fantastic. I think we'll leave that one there. Okay, so I think for the next one, um, yep. I think, I think uh, contrary to uh, scheduled programming, I don't <laughs> think we're going to be able to do... Uh, I don't think we're, that we're going to be able to do Surgeon Simulator until Friday, so we'll have to give uh, we'll have to give Surgeon Simulator. Oh, really? Uh, is it is it top uh, top secret? It's super top secret. It's so top secret that not even an app spy uh, can oh. can look at it. Apparently, no. Um, so um, I think ah oh, now it's between First Strike and Glaukian Warrior. <laughs> Glaukian, Gla what a okay. great a great phrase. Um, so I think it's between one of those two things. Well, so I think we'll do we'll do the Glaukian one first. Okay. The First Strike looks to be a bit involved, and it looks like Oof. one of the more interesting releases of the week, to be honest with you. So let's go for Glaukian. Let me swap the uh, graphics over so we can okay. say Glaukian. It sticks out a little bit, unfortunately, because it's got a really long name, which is kind of annoying. Cool. But uh, it ruins my, my pretty aesthetic. But whatever. Mm. Whatever. Now, this is the only one of the week I haven't actually opened up at all. So this is literally my first look at this and, and yours as well. Okay. So let's see what we got. Oh, my word. It's very, very colorful. <laughs> very, very, very colorful. Okay. So uh, the Trials of Glork. Welcome to the Glorkian Cadets. Protect. And Glork. I think Glork is a verb and a noun in this. Uh, so what have I got to do? Blast invaders and protect an asteroid. Collect crackers and don't die. Those are my objectives. I can totally run with this. Okay. Now it's giving me different controls. I can either use a virtual D-pad. I can use the edges to touch and slide and move up and down. Or I can use an alternative D-pad. Um, I think for the purposes of this I'll use a d-pad only because I've got this little cable sticking out the back for st of the iPad for streaming and it's probably not good me sliding my hand up and down because I'm going to smash into it so we'll run with that 
Nice big tick, and I use game center. No, don't need to worry about that at the moment. Um, we're going to get some cutscene stuff about going on a trial. He'll take his price now. And uh, let's have a look. Oh my god. Okay, so. What have we got? It's like. How to explain this? It's kind of like Space Invader. It's okay. like Space Invader crossed with a, a, sta a more standard shmup. So I've got waves of enemies attacking me from the top of the screen. My little guy's just running along the bottom of the screen, like the uh, pr protagonist character in Space Invader. Okay. And I'm trying to shoot little buggers above me. I think I can, I can jump, can I? Yeah, I can jump up in the air if I want to, but mostly I'm just moving left and right to attack all these guys. And now they're, now they're even hovering in the air like Space Invaders. Oh my word, there's loads of them. And now they're basically turning into Space Invaders, and now they're shooting me with stuff. Oh go, cool. this has escalated quickly. Right. <laughs> Crap. This... Okay, right. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Okay, so... Uh... You're a shmup guy, aren't you, Peter? You like shmups. Do you know what I really am? Um, yes. I, I'm, I'm a really big fan of like Death Smiles, and uh, I was a huge fan of Aero Fighters, which yeah. no one seems to remember. But uh, I like Ikaruga. Uh, that's my one. Ikaruga, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Whoa. Uh, oh, well dead. And uh, and I really loved on uh, can we sort of bring it a bit more close to sort of iOS, uh, Space Invaders Infinity Gene. I thought that that was oh, really right. okay. really awesome. And this kind of reminds me of that actually. It's kind of taking that. Space Invaders thing as a starting point, uh -huh. and then doing madness with it, uh, from from what I can see, anyway. It's certainly madness. The characters, it's funny because the characters have been designed, they almost look a little bit like the Space Invader aliens, you know. They're, the the shape, the silhouette is quite quite similar, I think that's deliberate. Yeah, absolutely. The, the play itself looks a little bit more sort of like... Uh, a little bit more sort of like uh, Galaxian, like that kind of okay. swooping, uh, that kind of swooping wave of enemies. Sure. Uh, as as you were kind of shot, and also like, are you getting power ups and that kind of thing? I th I'm not sure. I haven't got anything yet. I don't know if that's because they're not giving me them or because I am rubbish. But uh, oh, I collected something. Rapid fire. Yep. They dropped like a little can, a can of drink or something. So yes, I am getting power ups now. Oh, e ah. Again, it's quite good fun. It's immediately... Whoa, look at all this. It's immediately playable. I've got, now got a twin fire on the cannon. I've been upgraded. That's nice. They seem to be running with like a soft drink theme. They're all called Slurpazoids or something. Okay. It's a bit weird. Ugh. So, okay. Uh, top three... Uh, top three... F uh, beverages in video games. Go. Uh, beverages in video games. Yeah. All I can think. Of, all I can think of, you see, is uh, the slurm that's in Futurama. Slurm. For some reason, this is. Oh, it reminded me of that. Oh is my word. Oh, hang on. Is, there are God. things on the ground now. I've had. Oh. I have to jump on them like Mario. Oh, so I'm actually shooting up in the air and I'm jumping on stuff on the ground at the same time. Interesting. Um. I don't know what what sodas are there in computer games. Is there one? Is there one in Abe's Odyssey? Aren't they making something like that in the um, Oddworld games? Like they yeah. work for a factory that that doesn't yeah. soft drinks get involved there? Uh, isn't it called? I want to say it's called like. Oh, what's it called? Something horrible, isn't it? It's something well, horrible. Something. So I think I think that whatever that <laughs> whatever is, that is. That's number that's number one of them. Okay. Uh, there's also uh, Nuke Cola CG 2005 says. Oh, of course, Fallout. Yeah, yeah. where's my Fallout. thinking? So Good what call. Else? I think Spr is it called Sprunk from Grand Theft Auto? Is that what it's called? You've I think it's called something. I think it's called something naughty like that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, okay, that's our top three. No, uh, that'll do. Well, there's one on the floor again. Ah, these guys. All right, this is quite fun and frantic. Um, the it's very very smooth. It's uh, like a really fr high frame rate, and it's quite. Like I say, it's throwing a lot of stuff at me. So not only are the enemies coming flying down, but it, they drop power-ups at a hell of a rate as well, which you have to run along and collect. Then occasionally something like now on the floor appears and I have to Mario jump him, mm -hmm. which adds an element, and now I've died. But that was, you know, this is actually kind of fun. I, I assume this is an original thing and it's not based on like a, a TV show or something. This isn't a Cartoon Network game. 
It's just something new. And I don't, I don't think so. No. Are we so no. out of touch that we don't know? <laughs> I don't know. Well, we, we published that Adventure Time review for the Adventure Time card game, mm. which we took issue with because, it, A, it's a really good game. It's really well done. It's very nicely presented. The cards work well. You know, the dynamics of playing are fun. But it's a premium game, so it costs you, like, three or four pounds. Um, but it then has an energy system built into it so you also if you play it for like say half an hour an hour or something you might run out of hearts and the only way to get them back is either to wait or buy them i Which... saw i saw a cheeky tweet the other day as well oh, yeah. uh, apparently they've just put started putting ads into it as well really yeah into it oh you see now that's hmm. filth that, that is, is filth. that is well rude because if, if you've paid your you know two pounds or something for a game you don't expect ads and in-app purchases like to that lock you out. Like uh, fair enough to have in-app purchases where it's a cosmetic change or you buy a new outfit or something. That's fine. But n I'm not paying two pound for a game and then getting locked out of it after an hour. That's that is not on in my no. book. That's well no. out of order. Absolutely. So, which is a, which is a shame because the game itself seems to be very good fun and people See, have taken it to heart. They really and, like the game. And that's the thing, right? Like I really like I'm c completely cool with free-to-play mechanics, right? Yeah, like yeah. if if you give me a game for free, that's fine. I'm totally totally fine with that. But if you're going to charge me like a couple of quid and then give me an energy system, it's like no, yeah, that's that's bang it, out of order. You didn't even buy me a drink first. I like, know, I know, I know. Yeah. It's unbelievably <laughs> rude. Let me jump on this guy so I can get more power-ups. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him. Nice. I've got nice sort of swirly attacks now. They're sort of spiraling up out of me. This is quite good fun. Hello. Oh, hello. A new enemy. An all-new enemy has appeared. Oh, gosh. Even more space invadery than the last enemy. <laughs> and now the little things on the ground have started breathing fire. Oh, oh Lord. Yes. This is this is getting quite dangerous. Well, it's certainly frantic. I'm engaged. I'll say that much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm engaged in the play. Yes. Well, it's, you know, I, so, I can't I mean, look away. So, obviously, you, you, you know, you're uh, you're aware of games like Ikaruga and you enjoy those kind of games. You, you know, crap. you uh, bullied me into playing uh, that shooter from uh, Grasshopper. What was I did, that? which uh, the name of which escapes me. But yes, uh, I did, and it was quite. I, I quite liked that. You liked it less, though, didn't you? Uh, yeah, it'd be good if we could remember what the name of it was. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but you know, so you're aware of these games, and uh, like, does this feel like a satisfying shooter? It looks fun. It looks frantic. But does it feel like it's? Um, it's a yeah. little bit. I don't know what the word is. It's a little bit weightless, maybe. I think that's probably a good word for it. Um, but it is certainly. <sighs> Uh, it's difficult to tell after playing it for 10 minutes, but I'm not sure how much last ability the thing has. It's escalating nicely, like, I got further that time, I saw a new enemy, uh, there was new stuff that, you know, I, I encountered, which gives you a sense of progression, so that's good. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's, it's entertaining enough, and it keeps throwing this funny little story at me. New characters keep coming out. To be honest, I am skipping through all of the story, but, um... It, well, you don't want to spoil it, it for everybody, do you? Well, no, quite. Uh, it, it's there. Um... Yeah, I, it's, it seems okay. I'm not sure it's going to set the world on fire, but uh, it's certainly not harmless. I like the fact that it's... I like the speed of it. I like the fact that it's fast, that the frame rate runs very, very, very smoothly, um, and that everything has a nice, slightly frantic air about it. That's good. It's all nice and smooth. It's not the most sort of unique game I've ever encountered, but the mixture of... the small mixture of shmup mechanics and a platforming element, where you're jumping on guys like Mario does, that's quite cool. That's a bit different. But yeah... It's okay, it's okay, not bad. Um, right, I think we'll put an end to that one then. That's that's what that one sorted. That's Glorkian Warrior Trials of Glork. £1.99 or $2.99, I know, I know. Um, and that'll be out for you tomorrow. Well, apparently we've had to skip back on Surgeon Sim because we're not allowed to broadcast until Friday. Yeah, so for people asking in the chat room uh, why we're yeah. not allowed to, basically it's simply because um, we have been... Uh, I, I literally just double-checked mm -hmm. to make sure that we could, uh, we could do it. And um, it turns out that um, they'd r rather that we kind of held off on it until uh, a, a slightly later date. So um, we will definitely be having coverage. Um, well, we'll definitely be well, ha uh, doing a stream of it on well, Friday. That's what we'll do. What we'll do is rather than fitting it in for 10 minutes here, yeah. uh, because it's I think it's going to be the game everyone wants to play this week. So mm. uh, and it's not it's not, it's not going to be cheap either. So it's kind of, a you know, in the five pound territory, seven dollar territory for that game. But you may know it from the PC so you know the hype around it and the fact that it's kind of fun. I've had a yeah. go on it. Uh, I won't say much, but what we'll do is we'll devote an actual stream to it. We'll do yes. like half an hour, an hour of play because it works uh, on screen because it's just fun to watch because it's ridiculous <laughs> and horribly violent and stuff. So we'll save that for next time. But 
Uh, cool. So, well, we will spend a bit of time now because this is going to take a bit of time, I think, with the other big release of the week, I think. First was Strike. First Strike. This is actually out now. So this came out yesterday night, I think it is. Um, it is, for want of a better term, the best way I heard it described anyway, was like uh, Google Maps with nuclear weapons. Okay. So you know in XCOM, right? You know that mm. overworld map that you see, the globe that's spinning in the HQ center in XCOM HQ? Yeah. Um, how you can spin it around and say, oh, I'm going to go to this location or I'm going to blow up this bit or whatever. That is to be what this game's all about. I did boot it up earlier, but it was a lengthy intro, and I thought, no, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it. I'll give it a try uh, live. Um, and so let's let's cr crack in with the start. Here's here's my game, and I can select my nation. So if I move left and right, it gives me different nations to choose from at difficult different difficulty settings. So we've got Western Europe here. That's a normal setting, apparently. United States is easy, and North Korea is impossible. Well, they are, aren't they? They're well, impossible. I think they're making grand, sweeping social statements here. So let's start with the US on easy, because I've not played it before. Let's play it safe. Incoming transmission. Welcome to First Strike. You're now in command of one of Earth's several nuclear superpowers. Your goal is to be the last one remaining. This sounds to me... You know in Robocop... No. You know the original Robocop, none of this 2014 pish. You know the uh, adverts they play on the TV? Like those kind of satirical adverts that show you, like, there's one about a bunch of kids' board games. One of them is like a game of battleships with nuclear weapons. Right. Where you're supposed to nuke the other person and this big mushroom cloud appears. Uh, I think that's this game, basically. Okay. Which I'm all for, frankly. I think that's a great idea. Right, so now I'm, I'm touching the screen and I'm... Ooh, nice. Nice! Nice. Yeah, this is all smooth and lovely. So I'm scrolling around the planet. I'm going to pinch and see if I can zoom in. Yes, I can. Right, badass. So here, I'm looking at... United States. Here is my state. Uh, I'm going to tap the little thing in the middle. Boom! Now it's given me a bunch of options. I can either attack, I can build a cruiser, I can build an IRBM. I don't know what that means. Uh, uh, I can yeah, debuild something or expand a research. Okay, so an IRBM is an intermediate range ballistic missile off the top of my head. Uh, are, you, uh, are, you, are you reading from things, Wellington? No. <laughs> Okay, now it's giving me some instructions. Tell me about the basic actions. So I can choose an attack, and it'll let me see the reach of all my available nuclear rockets stationed in the nation. Attack 2. Uh, I can select and hold a target spot within reach and fire rockets to destroy enemy nations. Resource time. Each action you select will cost a different time to fulfill it. And then during that period, my nation won't be able to defend itself. So if I start laying into everyone, yeah. then uh, I lay myself open to attack from these buggers. Look, here's the British bloody British, um, of which I am a member. Uh, go down here. What have you got? Got an Asian continent. Let's have a look over here. Oh, look, look. Here's a little bit of what appears to be the tail end underneath China. Actually, where are we? Can I double tap on that? Can I go in? No, I can't. No. <laughs> Never mind. Um, what should we do? Should we build? Let's, I'm going to choose attack. I just want to see what my range is. Okay. Um, I don't think my range is an awful lot, to be honest with you. Okay. Now, just as a quick reminder, if you're joining us on the stream now, uh, we are playing First Strike. Um, and uh, I, I'm looking in the chat room at the moment. So if you do have, have any sort of questions for us, anything like that, you want to ask James anything, then uh, then ask away and I will feed those questions into him. Um, and uh, obviously, chatting away, we'll, we'll talk about the, the, the best chat that's kind of going on. Uh, DJ, uh, DJ Suicidal Tendencies says, Ooh. can I get a... I know, right? Uh, can I get a super quick shout out so I can tell people on the on internet that I'm famous? And I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, you can put that on a press release for your um, latest album. You are now or... internet internet famous. You are internet that. famous. Um, but yes, no, guys, do do send in your questions. Like the big question, I think that I, I've I've got definitely, and uh, so warning it is, I'm looking at this like uh, I'm looking at like the world map, and I'm looking at what you're doing, and I'm looking at all the little thing like the little UI options that are coming out. Yep. And I'm thinking to myself, this looks really complicated. Like, uh, yeah, yes, it does appear to be. I keep getting more information flashed to me. For example, it's now telling me about advanced actions. I can expand the nation uh, that I like to acquire. Uh, only neutral or destroyed nations are available for acquisition. Um, these are re re research options that I can pick. So I researched a little uh, 
medical thing earlier. I don't know if it was medical. I researched something. I improved my technology at any rate, which is one of the options. Um, I'm trying to use each one of the nations to do something different. So two of them are hard at work. I've got extra missiles here. Whoa, more incoming transmissions. Advanced actions, first strike. Your arsenal's gotten very strong now. Yeah, it has. Um, you now own more than nine rockets. I now have the option to use the first strike command. This sounds promising. A first strike will make every one of your nations fire into an area for an all-out attack. Nice. But beware of other alliances retaliating. Okay. I'm, I'm getting a little bit scared by the uh, by, by the sort of tone of your voice at the moment, James. Well, like, I think this oh, is designed yeah. to make you feel like a megalomaniac sort of, you know, dictator psycho. Basically, I am okay. Putin at this point. Right, okay. So everyone bear that in mind. Um, I can now lash out wildly at another nation. Um, uh, go for who do we not like? <laughs> right, who sh who who who? Uh, or oh. I think we're, I, with... I think we're laying into the British. Are we laying into the British? Very much. We, so, we, yeah. we, we we don't like ourselves, do we? We're very sort of. No, uh, I'm self-loathing. So let's yeah. let's go for it. Go are on, they, go on. Are um, they an American ally? Thought they would be. I don't know if I'm supposed to attack here. I thought they were an enemy nation. I'm not. Su I'm not surprised. I'm not, hang on. I'm tapping it. I'm getting a yep. little receptacle up here, but oh. um, nothing's happening. I'm not suddenly right. launching a massive nuclear weapon as I might have liked to. How do I do that then? Maybe they're a friendly nation. Is there anywhere else I can attack? Uh, what about I'm Iceland? Just gonna... <laughs> I'm just going to start indiscriminately shelling random items, random uh, locations. China, China. No, no, that's not even. That's not China. Where are we? That's a little bit off the coast of Japan. Come on! Apparently research has completed, so that's good to know. Can't work out how to actually do my first strike, though. I'd quite like to. Oh, I've got a little satellite up here. That's cool. What about Antarctica? Um, you bomb them? It, where are the polar bears? They, they seem, <laughs> where are the polar bears? <laughs> Nuclear winter for the polar bears. They'd be alright. They seem to be... Yeah, they'd probably be alright, wouldn't they? It's nice and chilly. I'm not sure that's what a nuclear winter is, but it's like global warming. Oh, hello! Hello! Something's actually appeared properly now. Okay. There it is! There- it, Oh my. Oh my word. Who are we attacking? I'm attacking- I, I don't even know. It, it, I just hit the nearest one that- yeah. Oh dear. Devastation. That was one missile. Oh, I feel a bit bad now. I've completely turned the entire landmass to ash. And that was only with the first missile. There are two more incoming. Let me zoom in. Oh, I can't. Oh. Oh dear. Is this how Putin feels? Does Putin feel regret? About, uh, oh, he, I, I think he, oh, what does he do? I think he sort of, um, He takes his top off. That's what he does. He takes his top off. I should goes, probably do that. Hey, guy. Well, I can take my top off if you want. Should we just... Should <laughs> no, we, we want people to keep watching. I think that oh, would be, right. okay. be terrifying. Right. Okay, Let me try on. expanding. I'm going to try moving forcefully into another area. Here we go. I'm moving south. I'm going to go uh, down towards, into, and through Mexico, and push into South America, so I can I must, get some rainforest. I must say, I something. like these kind of games with a conscience. I like these games that make you question like what it is that you're doing, and sort of simulate world, real world things. Because, mm -hmm. so, did you ever play, uh, what was it called? Was it called Infected, or Infection, or? Well, there's um, one called Pandemic. Pandemic? But yeah, and there is called, and there's one called Plague Inc. Ah, that's the one I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Like, in which you have to generate a bunch of viruses and diseases and things, and then uh, like try and infect the entire world with something horrible. But like that, that kind of real world play, but making it about play, I find that really interesting. Like, yeah. like, it, like the fact that you're like, oh, I feel a bit bad about this now. Good, you should. You just <laughs> nuked something. Oh uh, yeah, I, I felt a bit bad then. I'm, but I mostly find this stuff quite. Amusing, I've got to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm building up my... I'm building a couple of cruisers and some IDMs, and I'm pushing south. This is my strategy at the moment, because uh, I can't get attacked from either side on this landmass down the bottom. So I'm going to sort of expand my territory south, wait until I can do another one of these first strikes. I've already blitzed this area here, but I can't really get to it at the moment. I'll have to push north in order to take that out. Um, there we go. Yeah, oh, my territory is expanding. This is quite good. Let me push... Oh, I've got a first strike option again. Here we go. We're in first strike mode. Who do I attack now? I don't... I'm not sure if I can... I'm not sure how I did it before, if I just leave it there and wait. Yes, I just have to tap and wait. Dude, I'm totally taking out the British Isles. But what about all of the delicious cheeses that we produce? 
Well, I, I basically, I, if I do this, I'm going to see a missile like scorching through the air and landing on my head. This is essentially yeah. what I'm doing. This is a self-loathing British thing because we all hate yeah. ourselves, really. You know, whereas yeah. the Americans tend to like like themselves and feel very good, we tend to feel very apologetic and bad about ourselves. Yeah. We're just like, oh, which sorry. is exemplified by the fact I'm about to nuke my own home country. So count down with me, people. Whoppa! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There it is. Warning: USA is nuking the UK. We all knew it was going to happen. Oh, they've retaliated. The UK has fought back. Oh Good. my word. Missiles are crossing in the air like synchronized swimmers. This is beautiful. But unfortunately, okay. We have now entered the defensive phase. <laughs> Which I didn't know there was. Defend yourself. If you can intercept any rocket with a small cruise missile, if you have them stopped. To intercept, choose a nation with cruise missiles and select quick defend or select attack to fire manually at the incoming rocket. Oh crap. Uh, defend, defend, defend. I don't see- oh, there, there, defend, defend, damn it! I've got one! Awesome! Select another nation. Quick, quick, quick! Oh, they totally- well, mostly missed. Let's see the Brit- oh, look at Britain. Oh, no! London was hit! Oh. Eight- oh, crap. Eight million five hundred and eighty-six thousand people died. And now I've Are just- Are you happy now? And now I've just hit the Netherlands. Oh! Oops. Um... I'm s I am quite happy, actually. I'm not even going to pretend to be upset. Yeah, I think that job done, then. Look at that. Scorched Earth. Not bad. Okay, so this is quite fun. It feels like... It feels like it could be a board game, you know? It feels like it could be a turn-based board game where you move from place to place and... You know, like the fact that I automatically triggered an attack response when mm. I launched my own missiles. That feels quite sort of board gamey, And And... I, it's presented really well. It's properly yeah, good looking. It does look really beautiful, like yeah, that yeah. kind of red and purple and green. Oh, it looks really, really nice. It's fantastic. So, okay. So, what's the overall goal then? You just just take over the world. Take over the world. Same thing we do every night. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, right. it's, that's literally the whole thing. I've got to cover the entire Earth um, with me, pure me. That. Oh God! Someone! Hey! Whoa! 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 The Brits! Oh, who's launched a missile? Somewhere in Europe! Oh, you sons of bitches! Uh, we're being attacked from the Middle East! I don't, oh I don't my god! I blame you, Europe, or Middle East. I don't blame you guys. I'm defending, I'm defending. Oh, nuts! Ah, oh, see, well, yeah, well, hostilities have properly broken out. Apparently, I've been recognized as a superpower git. And, uh, they're now kicking my ass. A quick research. Research a thing. I'm gonna research a new type of missile. Enhanced cruise missile. Do that. Or do this. I don't know. How do I do it? I'm not sure. Back. Yep. Fine. Whatever. I'm probably doing that wrong. City destroyed. Seoul was hit. 22 million people died. Oh my god, look at it go. I think... Pyongyang was hit. That's right. 2.7 million people died. I don't know if there... I think there's infighting going on. I think this is beyond me. I think, yes, so yes, look, 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 look. Middle East and, and uh, Western Europe are... Eastern Europe, sorry. Are firing missiles. Uh, at the east. Oh god! Look at all this! Wow! So, so DJ Suicide of Tendency says that this is Pinky and the Brain Extreme Edition. It, yeah, I would go with that. I would run with that, yes. Um, I think I'm gonna get my ass kicked now. I'm not doing enough. I'm too busy talking. Let me build missiles here. Build a missile there. Oh, tap on this landmass. Build an iron so B can thingy. You, is it, like, like, is it possible to, to, I don't know, uh, get through the game without like with with peace, or do you have to use nukes? I th it's, like, I think no. The game is called First Strike, not First Handshake. I think it is pure violence. There's no, you can expand, but the expansion will I assume be limited once you encounter a hostile territory. It won't let right. you just expand anywhere you want. You have yeah. to do it aggressively. So I think it is basically just nuke everyone else into the dust. <sighs> Which has a fine look at it. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, the small ball. Look at the violence. I'm just, I'm just panning out and watching from afar so, as missiles scoot across the sky. It is so. It is very beautiful. Look at this. It is in its, in its destruction. Yeah. Like, do, you, do you so? Do you like the way that the UI stuff kind of spreads out? Is that quite quite intuitive, it's, or is it's it? It's very nice, actually. It's really very nice. The the controls are um, immediate. I say very responsive to my finger movements. I tap the area of the country. It all it all spirals out beautifully. Um, I'm gonna first strike again. <laughs> um, and oh, but I've got very limited range. Look, my range has shrunk noticeably. 
Oh dear, that's not good. I may not do that then. I may have to build up uh, some other stuff first. I will have to get another one in before the end of the stream though, because it got to go out in a blaze of glory. Oh, rocket incoming! Oh god, defend! <laughs> Stop laughing! This Fate is, of the world is in my this hands. This is here. very revealing about you, James. Like this is very. I'm. I'm Shut a up. little bit worried and and. Uh, Shut up. Uh, okay, so I, I think that like this this doesn't seem like like straight up this doesn't sound like my cup of tea at all. But it doesn't sound like my cup of tea because it sounds quite good. Hippie. Oh, why, why, why does good put you off? In terms of like strategy, like I'm not like a huge strategy fan. Oh, okay. So well, it actually looks really in depth and involved and engaged. Oh, I've just been nuked again. Oh, hello. Oh my God, they're taking out the uh, northern areas, Alaskas and Canadas and stuff. Greenland maybe has been nuked as well. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to get absolutely murked <laughs> by the east. Um, Pocket Nova says, I love the peaceful music while everyone is killing each other. Um, I can't hear the peaceful music. We can't music. hear it, unfortunately, which Damn. is a bit of a shame. But yeah, we would be saying yes. I'm sure it is quite peaceful. Is it count deadly counterintuitive? Oh, warning. Incoming, incoming. Defend. Uh, he can't defend. Quick, somebody defend. Oh, God, it's all going to hell. Oh, I can't find a defensive. No one can do any. Oh, there. No, too late. I just launched a random missile. You could all. Oh, wow. Look at this. The mushroom cloud blooms. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is. It's great. I can see if you actually sit down and concentrate rather than rabbiting like a mouth and like I am. This would actually be really good fun. It's, I just, yeah. The, the way that it's kind of cramming all this nuclear conflict into very short windows. Because obviously what you're supposed to be doing is what I do now. So you go to each landmass and do an action. Quick, expand, there, go. You build a missile, boom, you go and defend yourself and do all that really quickly, whereas I'm just sort of spinning the globe around going, isn't it pretty? Uh, which is, you know, for the purposes of this, is fine. Um, but, oh, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting done by the east. But the way that suddenly, I mean, maybe maybe there's warnings uh, in the music, in the soundtrack. Maybe they're kind of weird, weird alerts, but at the moment I can't hear it. So all, I'm suddenly just seeing a missile hove slowly into view, and that's yeah. the first thing I know about it, really. Um, but it does look very strong. I'm sort of really impressed. I like the fact that the globe is the UI, if you know what I mean. Yeah. There's no kind of fixed controls. I'm not using left or right arrows or anything like that. It's all pinches and zooms and context-sensitive controls that are presented very, very smartly. I'm, I'm kind of sold. I'd like to play it more in a less... Uh, sort of streamy, more concentrated so this, fashion. So this is, this is the kind of game that is the, you know, you've got a 20 minute commute maybe, it's the sit down, okay I'm going to have some me time now and play this for a set amount of time, it's not the stat stood in the queue. No, I think the game we were playing before, the Glorkin, that was your stood yeah. in the queue kind of like arcade experience. This is a little bit more thoughtful this and a little bit sat more... sat down on my couch. Intensive. Oh, I've launched, yes, I've launched a rocket to defend myself, that was good. Um, but I, I'm basically completely screwed now. Uh, I, I've got nothing. It, here comes the final missiles to completely destroy me. <sighs> oh well. Well, I think that probably covers it for this week, guys. You've gotten a fairly good look at all the games there. This one is First Strike. It's £2.49 or $4.99. And that is available right now. Whereas the other ones will be available uh, at midnight tonight and tomorrow. Um, what we'll do is, because we couldn't show you uh, Surgeon Simulator today, we will return on Friday when the embargo is lifted and we will do a proper surgeon stream which having played it you might want to see because it's funny and <laughs> gory and yeah uh, we'll explain it on the time but come back and join us then it'll be the same time 5 uh, p.m in the evening if you're in the uk or uh, 9 a.m in the morning if you're on pacific standard time in the us either way come and join us again for more app spy streams i've been james gilmore and this was peter wellington cheers Thanks for joining us, guys. Bye-bye.